I know what you are. You're impossibly fast. And strong. Your skin is pale white and ice cold. Are you afraid? I'm only afraid of losing you. Edward spends a lot of time telling Bella to stay away from him, yet being unable to stay away from her. Was there a lot of discussion on how to translate that to screen? Um, <clears throat> I think that that attitude is a very, the attitude of wanting, wanting to be around some, wanting to get somebody away from you, but you, but you can't, is a very, uh, it's a very universal thing, universal male thing. Just thinking, well, I don't know if girls feel it or not, but I mean, I know most guys when they really, really like someone, it's you. They try and push them away because they start seeing all the faults in themselves, like too, too explicitly. Um, so I don't think I really needed anything. I mean, that was one of the major things which I could relate to just as a person. You know, your mood swings are kind of giving me whiplash. I only said it'd be better if we weren't friends. Not that I didn't want to be. What does that mean? It means if you were smart, you'd stay away from me. OK, well, let's say for argument's sake that I'm not smart. I can see what you're trying to put off. But I can see that it's just to keep people away from you. It's a mask. Was it more complicated fil filming the fight scene or the kissing scene? Oof. Probably the fight scene, to be honest. I've, been ki I I've kissed a lot more people than I've had fights with. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Tell him to avenge you. Tell him. Tell him. I'm sorry. What are you more passionate about, your acting or your singing? Um, it depends. I'm very strict with myself when I'm doing jobs and stuff, and, and I don't really accept things that, that uh, I think are going to be silly and pointless. But with music, you know, you can mess around a lot more. Um, I think music's easier to get more passionate about because, you know, it's just a natural thing. You have to really work to, to build up something for an acting job. Did you and the rest of the Cullens spend much time together before filming began to bond as a family? We spent... The whole cast was staying in the same hotel, so we spent about... And the, the major cast was there for about two weeks of rehearsals, I think, or maybe a, maybe a week. Actually, no, no probably, probably a week and a half of rehearsals. Um, but everyone was staying in the same place for almost the whole period of shooting, so we all kind of just inevitably bonded. Can you describe your first Edward fan encounter? Uh, my first Edward fan encounter was when the day I came back to Los Angeles after shooting in Oregon. Um, I was in a coffee bean and tea leaf buying a bagel. And it was the first time anyone's come up to me and said, are you the guy who's playing Edward? And before that, it was always, are you the guy from Harry Potter? Now, have you, have you read the books? The Twilight books. I've read all the Twilight books except for the last one. Okay, so tell me a book, a movie, and a CD you would recommend as a gift and why you would pick them. A book uh, would be an, a Dennis Potter book called Ticket to Ride, which I just read, and I think it's very good. <laughs> it's not very interesting reason why. A movie, Ivan Sex TC, because I think you can only get it on, on Amazon. And a CD. I would get my friend Johnny Flynn's album because it's very, very good and it's called Alarum. Awesome. <laughs>